I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis, something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. 
Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room, Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. but I'm receiving reports about a disturbance nearby. I'm sending the coordinates to your map. You may wish to investigate. seem to find out who. The helicopter was spinning out of control. The pilot was killed on impact, not from the gunshot I heard. But what caused him to lose control? Maybe I can learn more back on the rooftop. Analyze the first point of impact from here. The helicopter's tail rotor was severed when the fuselage hit the building. I should review the crime scene and find that tail rotor.
the helicopter crashed when a high-powered round shattered the tail rotor. The ballistics analysis will lead me to the shooter's position. Doesn't add up. This man's a member of SWAT. So why'd he fire on a police helicopter? This man didn't fire at the helicopter. He was aiming at me. The ballistics trace indicates this officer was killed by a ricochet from the same round that took down the chopper. There's only one person capable of a shot like this. Dead shot. The trajectory analysis will lead me to Deadshot's firing position. This must be where the shot originated. I should scan the area. Just as I suspected, the shell casing matches others in the criminal database, and they're all linked to Deadshot. But his trail ends here, unless... There are numbers on the bullet casing. 451-326. Looks like a radio frequency. Hello, Batman. I see you decoded my message. Well done. But I'm afraid, playtime over. Come meet me at the bank so I can put a bullet in you and collect my prize. Oh, and in case you're thinking of backing out, I've got a hostage and a very itchy trigger for you. The police know the victim fell from a nearby building, but there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident, or was he pushed? Huh. Two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. Concerned, we're the guys. And yeah, what if they uh, recognize one of us? I specifically chose clients from out of town. 
Most of them have never set foot inside the bank. All right, but if this goes pear-shaped, it's on you. Relax, guy. I've been doing this a long time, and I never make mistakes. What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk a warning the bank or going to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Alfred, contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. All units, if you are 10-10, please report in for potential assignment. Area has been secured and prepped. Requesting a detective on site ASAP. Copy 37. Delta 41 has been assigned. report. The victim died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. But who killed him? And why? Examining the body should provide a lead. Owen Grant. He's an investigative journalist. Did an interview with him last year. Must have been chasing a big story to be out here. Now there's a camera strap around his neck. But where's the rest of it? This trail indicates the victim tried to escape before succumbing to his wounds. Spatter analysis indicates the shot came from below. Grant must have dropped the camera when he was hit. Reviewing the reconstruction will help me find it. Assuming the shooter didn't get there first. Alfred. Sir? I'm sending you some data taken from a camera. See if you can ID the subject in the shots. Certainly, sir. Just give me a moment. Uh, here we are. Mm. Uh, one Chucky Burks. I'm sending you his last known location. Jump on the next bus out of Gotham. You're done here. Look, if they've showed up, fine, we walk. But if they haven't, if there's still time, then please, I'm begging you. And I'm telling you, forget it. You think they won't trace this back to you too? Huh? Find out about our little counterfeiting scheme? What do you think that guy was doing down there? Sightseeing? They're already onto us. How the hell that happened? You tell me. 
I'm not the one buying flashy cars and new suits, buying rounds for everybody at the bar. Hell, you've even got an entourage now. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Either way, it looks like if I go down, you go down. Give me a minute. I need to think about this. You seen what I'm seeing? Just... Justice, you killed a man. Why? He was gonna expose our counterfeiting. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Alfred, let GCPD know that Chucky e. Burks has been apprehended for the murder of Owen Grant. Send them my current location along with the case file details. At once, sir. Dispatch, 4-9. 4-9, go ahead. So the fire's almost out, but it looks like we've got a body here. Cause of death currently unknown. Gonna need a forensics team to take a look. Copy that. We'll get someone to you. Keep the site secured until they arrive. Fire damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad. Interesting. The fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. These prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Kane did to deserve this. Potential assignment incoming. Keep this channel open. Don't give me that look. Guy was getting lazy and you know it. 
things are bad for business, but good for us. Someone's gonna have to take his place. I don't know. I need to think about it. Don't take too long. I got a line of guys that would kill for this gig. Answers. Did Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane? <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. Oh! Alfred, let the GCPD know where they can find Kane's killer. You can forward them all the evidence, too. It's already done, sir. Dispatch, this is Officer Meyer. We got a hit and run just outside the precinct. Looks like it might be one of our own. Your request has been logged. All available homicide units are out on call. First one back is yours. just outside GCPD. This was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by internal affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car and cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name John DeMarco time to pay him a visit or something. Some kind of written confession. This is bad. I searched this place after I took him out. It was clean. He could have stashed off somewhere. And if he did, it's not like he could tell anyone where it is. 
We just gotta keep our heads down and our mouths shut. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. It's the vigilante! Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick, but the kid got scared, made a deal and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor! You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges, but now, murder means life. We'll see about that! With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. <clears throat> Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. Dispatch, do you copy? Go ahead. Got a body down here. Mid-30s, no ID, no witnesses. Injuries are consistent with repeated blunt force trauma. Requesting a homicide team on site. Copy that. We'll send you our first available. Police claim they have no leads, but there has to be something here. What didn't they see? These bruising patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. Prince belonged to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am.
The shadow from his dreams. The one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw. He would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. Alfred, let the GCPD know that Andrew Carter's been apprehended in connection with the amusement mile murder. They can pick him up at my location. Well done, sir. That's one less troublemaker for Gotham to worry about. Dispatch, this is Officer Franklin. Go ahead and let Homicide know that the Park Row crime scene has been secured. Oh, and tell him to bring a second meat wagon. We got two DBs down here. Two victims, both shot dead. I know them. This is Horace Riley, heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. Construction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. did this. Alfred, I need a location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horace, too. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well. like it is on TV. You don't get to live happily ever after with the woman you love. Instead, she leaves you for your best friend. Sorry, man. You didn't mean to bring it all back. It's fine. It's fine. Just give me a minute. Am I seeing things? Those guys are fighting the back. It's That's the bat! 
you think you're doing? Do, do you know who I am? I know exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious... Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. What the hell's wrong with you? Alfred, let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm? Hello? Batman? Do you copy? Gordon. Sorry to, uh, interrupt. Barbara gave me this frequency. I, uh, well... I thought you might be able to help me with something. Is there a problem? That depends. If we can contain this in time, it should be okay. Contain what? We've got some Black Gate escapees stirring up trouble in the city. And after tonight's events, I'm a little short-staffed at the moment. So you want me to bring them in? Well, that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do.